Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and um, I think it's fair to say I've, I've come to the realization that rushers do much better in Black Ops than they did in Modern Warfare 2. And I, I think the core of it is in Modern Warfare 2, the guns had very little recoil, and that meant that uh, you know you sort of insta died anytime somebody saw you. Whereas in Black Ops, you have that possibility to evade. Uh, you know, if you have that escape route sort of planned out, if you navigate the map in such a way that you're not exposed for a really long time, you can travel a lot of ground in this game and not die. Whereas in Modern Warfare 2, if somebody saw you, they were either going to noob tube you, which kills around corners, which is just freaking dreadful, and um, or they would just kill you with bullets. And bullets killed so quickly because um, the machines had so little recoil and stopping power existed. So you could get three hit kills by actually firing three bullets. Whereas in this game, you know, and even guys with perfect aim, I think sometimes have to fire far more than three bullets to get their kills because, you know, just the recoil bounces around. And, and I think the auto aim might not be as strong too, although I haven't tested that out. That might be a good idea for a word to the wise video. But um, with all this in mind, I thought, you know what? I'm going to step up with a Russian class and see how this goes. Now, I don't get a ton of games. I, I, um, I didn't get a ton of kills. Like I just saw X-Jaws go... If, if he didn't go 94-2, and two, then he went 92-4. and four, And he gave all these rushing tips, and it was a really good video. And I thought, uh, you know what? I'm going to step up and uh, do a little more rushing than I have before. Oh, that guy escapes. So, um... Uh, so here is, is you know one Russian game that I, I picked up tonight. I have a couple. One of the problems I have in getting games is that I roll with a party. And uh, one, I think it's just more difficult to get the kind of big numbers that uh, that you often see in some of these Russian games. Because um, uh, when you roll with a party, it seems like just people are dead more often. They're always back in their spawn. And, and you know no one gets 92 kills when I got caught sprinting right there. Um, no one gets 92 kills when everybody is uh, a strong player. That's, that's just the way that goes down. But um, the other problem I have is that the other people leave the game a lot. And that happens in this game. You'll see that uh, in the beginning of the game... Uh, there's some targets to shoot at, and toward the end of the game, I, I think they actually all the way dropped down to two players, which is unfortunate because uh, I could have had a much better score, I think. But um, anyway, yeah, so rushing in this game is far more effective than it was in previous games because you're a little harder to kill, and that means that if you're spotted, look at me lose here. I shot him uh, in the back, and then I, I got a couple shots in the front, and... Uh, maybe I should have aimed down sight a little quicker than I did. Uh, that was responsible for my death. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, darn. I lost. I think that's my last death in this game. Anyway, um, because you're not insta-dead in the same way that you were in Modern Warfare 2, then rushing is a little more successful. So I'm going to give this a go, see how it works, uh, try it out for a little bit. And um, there's another thing. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little more uh, 2v2 game battles. And... Uh, um, the thing is, with, with game battles, like, it's fun, but it seems like not everyone's ready to play every night. And um, the other problem is that uh, because people are working their way through the prestiges, they, uh, they're they often not ready to play. So, you know, like, you know, for example, they'll be like, oh, I'd love to play game battles, but I don't have, you know, a very good gun unlocked yet or my favorite gun unlocked. I don't have any sights for it. They'd find themselves at a big disadvantage. So, um, so game battles, it seems like... Just at this point in the game's life cycle, a lot of guys on my team aren't really down for it. Whereas, um, you know, some of us are always excited about it. So um, yeah, I'm going to do some 2v2, and that ties into the need to rush as well. When it's two on two, you have to cover a lot of map by yourself. You have to get used to running lightweight marathon as a you know, as your class setup, because if you don't, then you're not going to last very long. No, you're not going to win. You're not going to cover enough map. So, um, so yeah. Now, it's not as if this is the first time I've ever rushed in Call of Duty. In COD 4, I rushed a whole lot. In, um, in Modern Warfare 2, I had my rushing games as well, so it's not foreign to me. But um, it seemed like my best games were ones where you, know, you, you sort of you know, made sure that you knew where they were coming from, you lined them up, and you, uh, you, know, you, you killed them in these unfair fights. Whereas uh, when you rush, the trick to getting unfair fights is flanking them from the side. You know, you're not about shooting them head on. You, you're about... Uh, Knowing where they are before they know you, that is the kind of Russian kill that you're going for. You know, finding guys who are unaware, guys who think they're safe, and uh, and going at it. And this napalm strike doesn't do as well as I expected to, if I recall correctly. There were three guys, you know, right underneath it, and yuck, nothing. 
So um, yeah, when you're rushing, uh, there's two things to keep in mind. Uh, one is is the line of sights that can see you. So you want to navigate the map in such a way that uh, when you are out in the open like this, you're prepared for it, and um, uh, you, you have these sort of line of sights in mind so that you know where you're getting shot from. Uh, the other thing is, uh, and, and sometimes it's not always obvious when you watch like a guy like Sandy Ravage rush, for example. Um, when he rushes, he's often keeping things like these, that was terrible aim. He's often keeping things like cars or barrels or whatever in between him and where he thinks the enemy might be so that he lowers his profile to be shot from. And, uh, and, and that's something that I'm trying to work on too. You know, to know the map so well that uh, you know how to navigate the thing in such a way that uh, as you move around the map, you're not exposed. So um, as far as class setup, uh, of course, you, you want. You know, typically, you rush with a submachine gun. It doesn't have to be. Uh, this map has a lot of close quarters combat, a lot of opportunities to flank guys from the side. So I went with the submachine gun. Uh, if it was a bigger map, like a ray, then I probably wouldn't rush with a submachine gun there, just because I find myself in long distance engagements so often that uh, that you know you, you need to have something that can shoot uh, across the map. So as I do the rest of this game, I'm going to speed it up a little bit, and that is because the other team quits out quite a bit, and uh, I feel like there's just not enough action to show you guys uh, going forward. I, I spend a lot of time just looking for darn targets because because uh, these guys are, are quitters. So uh, speed this up and uh, show you my thing. Getcha. One thing that I'm mixed on in the, in this game is the uh, attachment. So. The thing about the, the silencer is I just feel like I lose a lot of gunfights when I have it on. It's nice to be able to, to surprise guys to some extent, but um, man, the, the darn silencer, it, uh, it, it feels like even up close where in theory the silencer doesn't have any impact on the damage stats yet, I just lose more gunfights with the silencer than I ever did, uh, than I do unsilenced. And um, also another problem I was having is uh, finding enemies. So. Look, okay, I totally steal his kill. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Um, uh, I have a hard time finding enemies when my gun's unsilenced. And sometimes I actually want to notify people of where I am to some extent. Because, uh, you know, you, you just you got to find some targets in this game where things get boring. And, you know, here I am sprinting all game long. And, uh, you know, even unsilenced, I feel like it, it didn't bring anyone to me. So, you know, here we lose the host and we'll speed this up a little bit. But uh, they start quitting out. I think towards the end of the game, they even drop all the way to two players because uh, it's not going the way they want it to. Yeah, there you have it. So um, anyway, I'm rushing more than I used to. I think it's a pretty effective play style. I had some, some pretty good KDs actually rushing tonight, um, at, at least as good as my more uh, controlled styles. So, uh, so you might see some more of it. And then, of course, in 2v2 game battles, you have to rush because uh, you need to cover more of the map by yourself. So that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.